Paulula Vineyard, one of the most beautiful vineyards probably ever. What I like about uh, Wallula because it's up on such a uh, high uh, high bluff, uh, you get a bit more. The soils are not that deep, so uh, you get a bit more minerality out of uh, out of the out of the grapes than you do, say, in other areas of the Horse Heaven Hills. The soils are much deeper. And you get you get a little more earthiness. And it's a little softer, but I like the I like the minerality that's in these grapes. They get great structure, great uh, great color, really good flavor. And it's just good balanced fruit. I always do get that a bit more darker fruits out of Merloa here at Wallula than I do at my other vineyards. 08 was a very cool year, but I think we knew it earlier on how cool it was going to be, and so we made some adjustments. Made some adjustments uh, probably a little bit later this year, and so I think it's kind of, uh, you know, it's pushed things back a couple of weeks. Here we are at the, my, wall, my uh, Merlot block at Wallula Vineyard. So I'm going to take some samples and uh, see what some of the numbers are at, pH and sugars and so forth. And I'll taste along the way and see how the flavors are doing. And we're in our Cabernet block. Uh, it's looking looking very nice this year. Um, again, we've got some some older vines. They're doing really well in a in a tougher year. Um, they're you know better suited for for tougher times. And there's walking up and down these rows. You know the cab's still got a ways to go, but everything's pretty well evenly ripened at this point. Seems to be quite a bit of tannin in it this year. I could get some blueberry and some pepper in there. It's going to be a fantastic structure. The acids are, are really nice. This is going to be a really big wine. If you like light and fruity, don't buy Pondera. How you doing? Not too bad. Good, good to hear. Yeah. So, actually out at yeah. uh, I'm out at Wallula right now. Oh, you are? Yeah, I was just, uh, checking on the Merlot and the cab, see how they're doing. Not too bad, okay. not too bad. Gotta be really, really yeah. pumped. If we get that uh, cab ripe, uh, really be pumped about it. It's looking nice. Well, I mean, I, got, I set the readings off just about an hour ago, but it says 22 Okay, good. Yeah, so that's that's real good. <laughs> no freeze, no freeze. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> so that Merlot's at twenty four or five. Right. I think uh, we're probably still a little ways out on that though. Yeah. I'm thinking. I know. I'm thinking. Still, I'm thinking at least a week, if not more. So if we get a green flavors. Yeah. So, but it'll come around. That's uh, thankfully that's a. Uh, um, you know the nice thing about Merlot is it comes early, so you got you got wiggle room. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So, so you're out there right now? Yeah. Okay. Good. So good deal. Well, let me know next time you come down, and I'll keep sending those numbers out. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. So the Merlot, a little bit behind what uh, what I'd like it to be. Fortunately, it's Merlot, and 
ripens uh, early so we, we have time, uh, I'd say it's still a good, uh, I'd say easily 10 days out. Here we are at uh, September 30th, so doing it, uh, picking it uh, mid-October is quite rare, but uh, it'll still be good, still be good.